Life can fly by in a flash, especially if you don't take the time to slow it down and admire how far you've come. 2023 seemed to have zoomed by, but it has been a very transformational year. This is how it changed me. I feel like I've always been the type of person who would do whatever I want my way. Over the years, I've always chose to make people happier than myself. So that kind of became who I am. The things that we do on a regular becomes who we are. And this year, I feel like I finally broke that mold. I'm gonna start living for me and start prioritizing my goals and my thoughts and activities that I want to do instead of making people the top priority. And that's been the theme of the entire year. I've learned to say no so much more. I became this from choosing people over myself and the people in my life now, when I started to choose myself more and started saying no, it kind of made them feel like something was off, but they didn't know that I was breaking something that I put in place a long time ago. But luckily, I have great people around me who encouraged me to become more of myself and to remove the barriers that I added years ago. That has made this entire year worth it just by that. Self-care became a top priority because I burnt out again, like completely. I was down for like a month after I pushed myself so hard. I was like, things need to change. And I started prioritizing more self-care. I started sleeping more. I started doing more things that would make me feel rejuvenated instead of being tired. And that in itself has taught me that, hey, sometimes I just need to slow down and enjoy right now because what I'm doing in this moment is what will create my future. So if I'm not focused and present and relaxed in this moment, then it makes no sense. My future will not be relaxed, focused, and present. It became more clear that what I was doing wasn't working because clearly I wouldn't be tired for three weeks straight, four weeks straight. I can't do anything else other than wake up, eat, shower, go to bed over and over and over where it's just like, I can't function. My eyes burn. I'm not sleeping enough. I feel like everything is just crushing. That taught me the value of slowing down. Sometimes the things that I was pushing for wasn't worth my time and I didn't know that because I was so blind and just running towards the end goal that I didn't see that the journey was trying to tell me that hey go that way it's not your path isn't that way you should go that way self-care really centered me and it brought me back to who I am and to why I'm making the choices that I am making and who's actually benefiting from these choices because if I'm too tired to enjoy the results of my goals then what was the point of going so hard in the first place? I challenged myself to be more creative. I challenged myself to be more present during the day. I challenged myself to grow from the person that I really was. It, I felt like it was probably like a, a stagnant, very, very, very slow, like snail crawling growth. And I knew I could do more. So I challenged myself to do more. and. Oh my goodness, I'm impressed with everything that I took on, with everything that I've been able to do so far. I've had all of this inside of me this entire time. It's just I wasn't paying attention to it. It brings me back to me prioritizing myself where it's like, hey, I'm, I'm now in the frame of mind where 
I'm focusing on myself. What do I want to do? What do I want to do is the most important question that I ask myself. It's not about what my friends want to do or what my family wants to do. It's about what I ultimately want to do because it is my life. And if I don't live my life how I want to, then whose life am I living? Whose goals am I chasing? What am I going to feel like when I go to sleep and do nothing that I actually wanted to do? I don't want to ever feel that feeling. So I challenge myself to become more of me. And that turned into making more videos, turned into journaling more, turned into making more illustrations. I started drawing again. That is always something that I said I would do a lot more. I just never found the time to actually do it. And the fact that I now have a dedicated day where I do this thing, it makes me happy because it's like, I said that to myself and I'm doing it. So it's like, I'm keeping my word to myself more and more and more. And the more I do that, the more things and more ideas and the more excited I get about life. This year made me excited about life. This year challenged my comfort zone on so many levels. I can't even begin to explain. I've driven more hours than I've ever driven in my entire life. I have made more videos than I have ever done in my entire life. I have challenged myself to read more, to listen to more books, and to just quench my thirst for knowledge. I know that it's my choices that changes my life. And if I choose to do these things that elevate me, then there's no way that I won't be elevated. It's like basic math. <laughs> me plus the things that elevate me equals to a more elevated version of myself. I'm more excited about the present and I put more emphasis on the present than the past because I used to just think about the past all the time and think, oh, if I'd done this, if I did that and all of that. And it's just like, hey, I can start doing that now. It's never too late to start. And if that's something I've always wanted to do, then why not start now? And that's exactly what I did with almost everything that I challenged myself to do. I started in that moment. I didn't wait till the next day. I didn't wait till the next week. I didn't wait till I had a full plan. I just started and knew I would figure it out while I was doing it. I stopped putting so much emphasis on the future as well because I understood that it's what I do now that creates my future. So I'm not gonna sit and worry about the future when I can actually do things now to create the future that I want. The person I was in January of 2023 is definitely not the person that I am in December 2023. I've grown so much. I've opened so much. I've forgiven so much. I've loved so much. I have impressed myself in more ways than one. I am definitely going to continue doing that. I want my future to be all about growth. It's about creativity. It's about love. It's about fun. And that's exactly what I'll keep focusing on. That's what this year truly, truly taught me. Ooh.